What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw the female torso at a profile view. Another word for profile view is a side view. So we're going to be drawing the side view of a female body. So let's get started. So what I usually do when drawing the female body at a profile is I like to start out with like a jelly bean kind of shape. So on this portion, this is going to be the stomach. This is going to be the front of the body. So that's going to have somewhat of a curve to it. Like this. Somewhat like a parenthesis kind of shape. And then if you want, you can draw like a little circle up here to help you curve. Because when, once we come up here, we're going to make a curve back to the back. So I'm just going to draw a circle at the top like this. And there we go. We're also going to be drawing a circle down here, but let's get there first and then we can draw a circle. So we have our circle that's up here. Then we're going to come off the back of the circle and begin to make a shape that's somewhat similar to this parentheses shape for the front of the body. And then we're going to come inwards just a little bit. So you see how wide it is up here? We're going to make it a little bit skinnier down here. Okay, so what we have so far is like half of a jelly bean shape. So we're going to start at this edge of the front of the body and we're going to make a circle out of that. So you see how I'm making this uh, curve right here? Right now that's half of the circle and now we can begin drawing the rest of it. And obviously my circle isn't perfect but you don't have to strive to get a perfect circle. So, this is just a close enough result. Okay, and this is what we have so far. But you may notice right here that there's somewhat of an angle here. We don't want that to be pointed. So what we're going to do is erase a small portion of that section. And we're going to make it curved instead. make that curve just turn that angle into a curve like that and then let me darken these lines a little bit and there we go we got our jelly bean shape so now let me take my kneaded eraser and erase these lines in here because we'll be drawing a similar line to it but we don't want that to confuse us so that's why I had to erase it but we're gonna come off of about this point of the curve that's down here and we're gonna make a similar curve like this you could also call this like a smaller circle just like that and that's gonna be the leg or at least the thigh so we're gonna come off of this point of the circle and construct the thigh. We're not going to see the entire thigh nor are we going to see the entire leg so we can just draw like a curve to help indicate that this is a leg because the thigh has sort of a curve to it. The front view of the thigh has somewhat of a curve like that but then back here on the back of the leg that's not going to have much of a curve to it so you can add like a slight curve drawing the back of the leg like this okay and then I'm gonna fix this line real quick and then down here is gonna be the butt so we can just finish that darken those lines And then erase this one because we don't need it anymore. Okay, and just so I can add a little bit of perspective to the drawing, I'm going to add this same curve right beside it. So that way whoever sees this drawing knows that there's two legs on this character. Because just adding that one curve looks like it's two legs. 
but if you want this leg to be at a different position you can make whatever position you want but to keep things simple i'm just going to add another curve to indicate another leg okay and now coming back to the top of this uh jelly bean shape i'm going to come off of about this point right here i'm going to make an x right there and i'm going to make a breast and that's going to be a little bit of a water balloon shape so i'm going to come off of that x and make a water balloon shape that hangs off of this curve like that and it doesn't have to be a full-on water balloon it just needs to look like it's hanging off of something and being pulled down by gravity so I'm just gonna draw that and you don't have to do the same thing that we did with this leg to the breast by adding another one to indicate some perspective but you can if you want but you don't have to because typically when we're drawing the female body at a profile view the other breast isn't really shown so that's why we're only gonna be drawing one and then I'm just gonna draw another line and there we go so I'm not gonna waste time drawing the arm but I can say if you do want to draw the arm I'm just gonna add like a little circle inside of this other circle that we drew from the beginning and that's gonna be the shoulder and the arm is gonna start right here because when this breast comes up it's gonna make some sort of a curve that goes underneath this circle to be the armpit because you know that's what the breast kind of does it kind of connects to the armpit a little bit when you think about it so I'm just gonna make a dotted line for that but yeah like I said choose to draw the arm if you want to I'm not gonna waste time doing that but that's what you can do but since I did bring up the arm I will trace this circle make that line a little bit darker because at this point it looks like my character is wearing a bathing suit so I can like further determine that now by darkening these uh, guidelines or at least the ones that I still have on the page and then get rid of this one And then if your character has a specific body type, you can adjust a few lines. Like you can make this come inward some more. Or you can adjust a few things here and there. Like I'm going to have this curve come inwards a little bit. And erase this line. Like adjustments like that you can make. That's up to you. However you want to do it. But yeah, that's what we got. All right, and that's how you draw the female body at a profile view. So if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.